Greetings everyone, BQ Aggie with another James Bond collection video. Um, the last video that I had showing my James Bond autographed card collection, uh, there was a couple of comments down below that uh, requested me to show off my James Bond autograph photo collection that uh, I had yet to show. So I will be doing that today. Uh, but since the last video that I made, I picked up a couple of other autographed cards. So let me quickly show those that I picked up. First up from Thunderball is Molly Peters. And second up from Diamonds Are Forever is the legendary Sid Haig. You might remember Sid Haig from uh, The Devil's Rejects, House of a Thousand Corpses, uh, and then some of the Quentin Tarantino films that he was in. <clears throat> All right, first up, uh, I'm going to tier these. Uh, first up are the 8x10s, and then I have a couple 11x14s. And then I have a mini movie poster that's an 11 by 17, and then I'll show you my Timothy Dalton uh, that I just recently got back from the framers um, and the reason why I'm making this video. So first up uh, actually is an 8 by 10 of uh, Gert Froba. It is not autographed, but I do have a cut signature, fully authenticated by JSA, uh, and I will do a like a cut and a photo um, Matt, obviously I just have yet to get around to framing that, but uh, Gert Froba um, is the actor that play, played Arik Goldfinger in Goldfinger. Next up from Goldfinger is Pussy Galore herself, Miss Honor Blackman, who recently passed away. And then from Die Another Day, I have uh, Oscar-nominated actress Rosamund Pike who played uh, Miranda Frost, and this is uh, fully authenticated by JSA. And then the current Bond girl from Spectre and the upcoming film No Time to Die, Miss Leia Sedier. And this is uh, authenticated by PSA. 8 by 10. Then I have an 11 by 14 of Pierce Brosnan, and this is done by Beckett. Beautiful, gorgeous, big, flowing autograph from uh, Pierce Brosnan. And this shows him in his uh, suit with the suppressed Walther P99, which I absolutely love. This is an 11 by 14, done by Beckett of Pierce Brosnan. Next up is a Skyfall 11 by 14 from PSA. And this is signed by Naomi Harris who was Miss Moneypenny. And then you can't see it very well, but that is Berenice Marlowe, who played Severine. That is an 11 by 14 of uh, Skyfall. Next up, uh, kind of an odd size. This is an eight by 12 of Javier Bardem from Skyfall. And everneath, everything behind that is just all the photo proof authentication and everything. Uh, I will be submitting this to Beckett, but I don't have any doubts or concerns of it uh, not being able to pass. But that is Skyfall, Javier Bardem. Another 8x12 of <clears throat> Oscar winner Holly Berry. And this is from Die Another Day. Her gorgeous bikini shot. An 11 by 17 mini movie poster from Spectre by Beckett. And this is of Christoph Waltz, two-time Academy Award winner. He played Ernst Stavro Blofeld. And this is his full signature. So very, very unique and rare. Because these days when you see him on the street, he will just simply sign C.W. So this is his full-on signature on a 11 by 17 mini movie poster of Spectre. And then the reason for the video, I just recently got this back from the framer. You can see that I don't have it on the wall just as of yet. But it's an autograph index card, fully authenticated by JSA, of Timothy Dalton. With postcards from his two movies that he played, the iconic James Bond character, The Living Daylights, and License to Kill on a beautiful blue suede and silver bullet mat. Finally got that back from the framer. 
So have yet to put that up on the wall, but it will be going on the wall shortly. And let me walk out to the game room to show you the last two. <clears throat> 16 by 20 of Daniel Craig, fully authenticated by Celebrity Authentics, with a movie prop card of his suit shirt or his dress shirt. The same blue suede as the Timothy Dalton with lavender matte. It's my boy Daniel Craig. And then of course, Sean Connery. Cut signature. And that is fully authenticated by Beckett. And the authentication is on the reverse of the frame. I won't be taking that off the wall to show you. Just take my word for it. But there you have it, Connery and Craig. I do also have an 11 by 14, uh, excuse me, 11 by 17 mini movie poster of A View to a Kill that is signed by Roger Moore that is currently away at Tanya Roberts so she can sign it. And I will have that back whenever she is done. And I will show that off whenever it returns. And if you are interested in obtaining Tanya Roberts' autograph, feel free to check out her website at tanyaroberts.biz, B-I-Z. But there you have it. That is my James Bond autograph photo collection that I have framed up and on my wall. And thanks as always for tuning in. Please check me again on the flip side. See y'all.